Welcome folks, this is Wayne Tear, yet another outdoor and gear review channel. Today you find me in the kitchen, which is a rather unlikely place for myself, because usually my wife does not allow me in here. She says I mess things up, which is totally not true. But she's not here today, she doesn't have a say, she might see that video later, but I will deal with their repercussions later. Today we want to play with fire, with the fire dragon gel. Uh, why would you play with something like that in an apartment? Well, that's part of our blackout preparations. Um, there are official suggestions to prepare yourself for a blackout, maybe multiple days. We have an electric stove and without electric energy, our food would remain cold. That is a great disadvantage. You can't even prepare tea or something like that. So the idea that many people actually have, well, I have tea lights at home, do tea lights work? No, they don't give up enough heat. They don't contain enough energy. I have propane gas in the cellar, a camp camping stove, which would work, which contains a lot of energy, but it is not odorless and it's not so nice to uh, use it indoors. Uh, we have a balcony, a kid, of course, barbecue in the balcony, which is not very comfortable during winter time. Plus you uh, lose a lot of heat going inside and outside the apartment. And then, yeah, of course you're limited if you live in an apartment complex. So this uh, fire dragon gel fire lighter promises a whole lot of things. It's quick and easy to ignite. Of course, it's non-toxic. This is very important. You can even use it to clean your hands and, and uh, yeah, it's a disinfectant. It lights even when wet. It's made from sustainable ingredients. It's nice. We take care of the environment. It reduces cooking time and it has a low odor when burning. Oh, we'll try that out and it can be safely stored with food. It's just not toxic and it's suitable for extreme conditions. Uh, it's supposed to even burn when it floats on water, which is not something that we need indoors, but this is definitely supposed to be excellent stuff. I'm not sure how much of that substance I need in order to, for example, make a water, one liter of water boiling. So I want to play with it a little bit today we see if it really burns, if it really has a very clean combustion, so you can actually use it indoors. So let's check that out and let's try not to get too much in trouble. Okay, the first question would be how to build your indoor fireplace. Uh, of course, I use the cooking surface. It's fire resistant. And then something that you could do You could uh, take this out of the oven. You could take like four cans, something that is very stable and you build uh, your cooking setup that way. Uh, so in there would be the fire gel and on top of it, uh, there would be whatever you want to want to cook. So this is stable. This is fairly safe. Um, if you have something like this, that might be even better, work even better for you. Oh, depending. So I'll use this, but there are different ways to improvise, of course. And one of the most important items is the fire extinguisher. There is no excuse not to have a fire extinguisher in the kitchen and in a blackout situation, a fire extinguisher is even more important because, you know, the firefighters might not come in time if you mess up. Let's start by removing this tea light, low energy tea light. So we have a little aluminum cup. And so my plan is to put the fire dragon gel into this cup. And it's nice. It comes out just like that. Let's put plenty of it in it. Let's just check out the consistency. It's really nice. Very safe to handle, very hard to spill or impossible to spill. Oh gosh, it has a very, very nice uh, smell. It basically smells like glue, or like glue for children, the glue that children use in school. It has a very good smell. Feels very good, kind of cools off. 
So a pleasant substance to work with. Now let's see how much energy we get out of that. Yep. Let's close it up and put it far away. We try to avoid accidents because my wife will use it as an excuse to get a new kitchen. I already see that coming. So, ignition. There we go, array burns. Gives off nice heat. One liter of water. It's exactly one liter. Let's see what happens. Okay, we were a little bit too conservative with the amount that we actually used here. Uh, it obviously needs about twice the amount of fuel. We had on, uh, about 10 minutes burn time and the water is, is very, very warm. Uh, you could probably use that amount of fuel to heat up a few cans of food. But we try to really make it boil and of course it's not very smart. You should use a lid to not use so much energy. So let's try to do it the right way. So no more working with microscopic amounts. Uh, I used about a hundred milliliters now. So a good hundred milliliters should be in there. Let's try to make that boil and let's also use a lid because that's realistic. Uh, so ignition. There you go. That's a whole lot of power. Yeah, we're at the five minutes mark. The water already starts boiling. I can see the water vapor coming up. I might have even used a little bit too much of the fuel, but the challenge is to get the amount right because you cannot really add anything afterwards unless you want to get into a terrible accident. So this is really something that uh, you need to learn. You need to just try. So I would say 100 milliliters of that stuff to get one liter of water boiling really good. Use a lid, conserve energy. Again, even with that amount of that fire dragon fuel, there are hardly any odors. It still feels absolutely safe. And it actually sounds quite pleasant. It has a it has a campfire sound without the campfire smells. It's pretty interesting. It definitely something that you can use at home. It helps to have a stainless steel bowl like that. It's definitely a great idea. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I used a little bit too much of the fuel because the flames are coming up. So there's definitely something that I can improve on. However, it, it comes with the experience. So I would definitely suggest uh, that you have some of the fire dragon fuel at home or something similar, although I don't know. This seems to be really a very particular, very particular product. Fairly unique on the market. So definitely something to go for, for your emergency preparations. And now it really starts to steam. That is beautiful. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, leave a comment, share your experiences, uh, be prepared. This is Wear and Tear, over and out.